ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kale Architects. Today we have architect Milike Altanesh with us. She is an award-winning architect, designer and educator who is dedicated to develop an innovative approach towards architecture, urbanism and design. Her work aims to develop the rational thinking capacities of architecture and its relation with design technologies. Good afternoon Milike, how are you doing? Thank you very much, Maria. Uh, I am doing very well, and I am quite excited to be part of your uh, interview today. Thank you so much. That's an honor. Uh, so, Milike, would you like to share your story with us? Like, what brought you in this field of architecture, and how your journey has been throughout? Um, actually, architecture has been excavated in my consciousness since a young age, I can say. I was a kid who always portrayed for her parents where and how they will live in the future. So I can say that I grow up knowing one day I will be doing something related to design. Therefore, um, it's not a coincidence that I am founder of Melike Altınışık Architects. So my journey, uh, we can say that it's a story of four important doors um, which changed my life and career throughout this journey. Mm -hmm. And I usually describe these doors as, as you know, like a door to every architectural building has a lot of meaning in the a special relationship you built with that uh, building itself. And the reason is normally quite natural. Doors play quite important role beyond the external and internal relationships between spaces. And they integrate with the people in them and they represent somehow the passages between the minds. And some passages also open doors that you don't even know that they exist in your mind and they change your vision and they change you. So four important doors, these doors in my life, first of all, um, first one is Istanbul Technical University where I studied architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, and second one is the Architectural Association Design Research Laboratory in London, where I received a master's degree. And third one is actually the Hadid London office, where I worked as a lead architect between 2006 and 2013. Mm -hmm. And the last one is um, Melike Altınışık Architects. So in, uh, at Melike Altınışık Architects, um, Yes, 2013, I have established my own firm in Istanbul. And today, uh, MAA is an international office, which has also a branch office in Seoul, South Korea. And um, MAA work includes also prize winning projects, such as Istanbul's futuristic 369 meter tall TV and radio tower in Turkey, in Istanbul. And another one is world's first pioneer Seoul Robot Science Museum located in South Korea. Like this is kind of a short um, explanation of my journey in architecture. <laughs> That's wonderful. I was looking for these projects uh, over the internet. They are really impressive, <laughs> I must say. Uh, so what's your signature style? Like, how do you go about designing a project when you um, get a project? How do you initiate it? And what's the process for it? I could describe myself actually as a curious person in general who is obsessed with nature and technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, my academic study, which I have gained at London-based uh, Architectural Design Research Laboratory, it helped me to learn how to create dialogue between nature, technology, and architecture in my practice. So as an architect who deeply and madly inspired by nature in that sense, uh, to be honest, I, I am never surprised when people say that our projects are defined as futuristic and mathematical. I always say that um, mathematics is the source and the reason of everything. And Pilota says, the universe is made of math and the more we understand this vast interplay of numbers, then the more we can understand nature itself. And mathematics takes in that sense very important role to crack the codes of nature and understand how it actually works. And when you discover these ancient logics behind this 
then you can work on multidisciplinary platforms. And as an architect, we believe that design is a subject all about these disciplines. So in that sense, I can also say that nature is our profound teacher when we start designing. No, and, yeah, and at MAA, we learn that's why from nature, and by using technology, we apply those systems into architecture. Each project we work on has, of course, its own challenging problems and unique problems require unique solutions. Mm -hmm. As an innovative and architecture firm um, at MAA, our design approach, that's why uh, it applies, I mean, we apply those systems into architecture uh, by working on different scales uh, of projects in varying scales. So when you work on different scales from high rise buildings to museums and at some point also a bespoke furniture. Mm -hmm. So these different scales, designing in different scales and typologies, um, not only different only in different scales, actually also in different countries, it helps you developing an important perspective. So then you learn how you can respond to difficult and different political, social and architectural design problems. And uh, when the scale of the projects, when they grow, your task as an architect in between this design and coordination network in a way expands into a role, I call it like a ma maestro. And as a maestro, you, you have to uh, achieve the desired results for all parties included during this design process. Yeah, yeah. this is how can I explain your... All right, question. that's great to know. Uh, and um, Malike, in your view, like how important is technology in architecture and what impact does it have on your architectural career? Technology always uh, had been an important role throughout the history in architecture itself. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, the development of humanity and technology is kind of the summary of the people who find uh, the resources, these re resources in a way insufficient, and they keep developing the technology for the search of better. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the cities we live in, in last, let's say, 300 years, First, we have been working and living on the farms, then our journey extended to the factories, then to the Silicon Valley, and finally to the space. And technology today is taking us elsewhere by initiative assumptions. Digital information technologies enables us, like now, to come together regardless of time and place. And it's in uh, inevitable to approach data in more scientific way. Even it's kind of imperative, in my opinion. And it should not be forgotten that technology is a means, not a goal. And that the main purpose should be, and in my opinion, the main purpose is the happiness of well-being of humanity when you, you use and develop technology for architecture. That's why we need to really discuss uh, the goals and all the developments in technology in that manner. Uh, in my opinion. And um, do you think this pandemic is going to affect architecture like um, in terms of technology? Like um, maybe there, there would be a major shift from, virtu from physical architecture to virtual architecture? Is there any possibility or what do you say? To be honest, uh, I can say that this virtual architecture has been happening since a long time. Mm -hmm. But only recently, as you say, like during the pandemic period, globally we have recognized the benefits and power of the virtuality, not only for saving human life, but also for the uh, resilience of our cities and planet. So pandemic has been changing in my opinion, fundamentally the human behaviors. So today, the living and working areas 
are re re reuniting with the help of technology for many business sectors. So um, we have recognized the power of the digital and virtual environments and mobility has been developing throughout these like new perceptions, both in digital, but at the same time also in physical conditions. While uh, I call it like, while digital mobility acts globally, so we are visiting each other, as I said, like regardless where we are, um, physical mobility at the same time reminds us the importance of being local and your neighborhood. So it helps us also, as I mentioned, like, to develop the resilience of our cities and planets. So in a way, digital technologies, in my opinion, will help to create digital platforms for virtual architecture, let's say for private gatherings, as well as new understanding of public spaces in virtual environments. So we will really, um, in a way, create a good environment for unnecessary travelings and you know all these things to be able to help our planet to survive more uh, in my opinion <laughs> yeah that that's a great perspective actually so are you working on any sort of project or uh, is that it's just an actual environment a virtual architecture yeah um we do some research but not really a specific project yet but um i think it will uh, develop soon uh, quite fast i have to say okay yeah. <laughs> so that's how you plan to amalgamate the two in future okay <laughs> that's great actually yes like to share or anything you would like to convey to the emerging architects uh, the the emerging architects to be curious about nature technology and future but also they should try to answer uh, this critical question which i will ask now mm -hmm. how science and technology will be able to successfully serve for humanity against the rapidly in increasing world population, escalating impacts of climate change, rapid depletion of natural resources and uncontrolled transformation and developments without destroying our biosphere. So I think this is a very critical question when we really involve technology into architecture for the uh, sustainability of humanity. We need to answer this question for any development we do for uh, future of architecture <laughs> that's true that's so that's very insightful of you this should actually be our major concern in future <laughs> as yes. we are headed towards uh, the depletion of resources and this critical time so that's exactly. actually great so yes. thank you so much uh, Malike, for enlightening us it was really wonderful to have you with us Pleasure Thank you very much, you. Mario, Mariam. I hope that I will be resourceful to answer your questions. You right. surely were. You surely um, were. Thank you so much. Take care you. and stay Take safe. Take care. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.